Good morning. Today we're here at Big Lots. We're going to go in and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Okay, since we come into Big Lots here, I wanted to check out some of the price reduce section here. Notice I got some Del Monte crushed pineapple here, the big cans. 20 ounces, $1.99. We've noticed the Idaho and potatoes have gone up to $1.50 pretty much everywhere over here in this section of Big Lots. They have these still for $1.29. Not bad. Family size $2.49. Did want to point out that the Campbell's cream of soups here, though, are a little more expensive than Kroger. $1.79 here, $1.50 at Kroger. Got some Pepperidge Farm cookies here on sale. Well, not much of a sale, really. These are $3.99 here. They've gone up to almost $5 at Kroger, but... A little bit of savings. Not as many deals in this area as there used to be. Got some Snyder's of Hanover pretzels here, two dollars and thirty-nine cents. Cheaper than at most stores. Wanted to check out some of the toilet paper. See, if, you know, sometimes you can find some deals at Big Lots on toilet paper. Uh, this same Scott tissue at Kroger is six dollars and forty-nine cents. Regular price six dollars here, so a little bit of a sale there. Um, some of the Big Lots toilet paper here, $6.99 for this. I don't know, we've gotten good comments on Big Lots toilet paper. This is 8 mega rolls equals 32 regular rolls. $5.30 for the Angel Soft. We got a comment the other day that someone was having trouble finding Angel Soft. Um, 6 mega rolls here at Big Lots equals 24 regular rolls. Uh, $5.30, about the same price as it is everywhere. Maybe $6 in some other stores. They have the nine rolls of Charmin here, Mega Rolls, $11.99. About the same price as it is everywhere else. So do you like Big Lots? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at all the toilet paper and stuff that's missing. This is usually their big section right here. This is paper towels. Oh, paper towels. Well, they didn't have much toilet paper over there. Got the Big Lots paper towels here. Five seventy nine. Six equals eight Mega Rolls of the Bounty. Somebody left a comment uh, for me to check out a, some prices on fish oil. I just saw this here. This is Nature's Truth here. They have the smaller 60 count and 120 count. $11.99 for the 120 count, $7.29 for the 60 count here. They do have, you know, uh, some other vitamins here. Not many, not like what you're going to find at a big grocery store, but are you having fun? Everybody's enjoying you being in the video. <laughs> How do you know what everybody thinks? Everybody was commenting on the Costco video. Saying oh. it was good to see you. Yeah. They, they want us to do more cooking I meals. should take over. You should. We need to do our um, unboxing of our air fryer. Maybe we'll do that this week. Yeah. <laughs> uh, people are suggesting, like, start easy, like, with hot dogs. We were thinking, like, corn dogs or, I don't know, like, you think that fish we got would work in there? Probably. Yes. Well, as far as over-the-counter medicines go here at Big Lots, uh, it continues to be pretty low. I was looking, do you see any uh, children's Tylenol? That's one everybody's always looking for. Found arthritis Tylenol. <laughs> it's random. I don't see any children's medicines. Well, I don't know. Uh, we did see some at Kroger the other day and Target, so if you're looking for children's Tylenol, you may want to check there. Uh, apparently, it's been getting low again. I'm getting comments on some band-aids again. Now, we haven't had this problem. We we did a few months ago, but over the last few weeks on some older videos, we were getting comments. It's been hard to find band-aids. Not the cheapest here, guys. Um, really, Walmart. Uh, we get you know the Equate brand. It's a really good brand, um, and it's a lot cheaper than like your regular band-aids. But we have noticed that it has been kind of low at Walmart. Haven't checked there in a while, but if few times ago when we went, it looked pretty low. Probably because they're the cheaper ones, but they had plenty. Good deal on the spa soaps here. One dollar. Dollar for that? It's not bad. Antibacterial. And we got some different ones here. Some bath and body look-alikes. I don't know what's causing soft soap to go up in price, but if you notice, these are a lot smaller than they used to be. This is like half of the size. This is 7.5 ounces. Well, no, I think the other ones were 10 ounces, so still a little smaller. Um, but they're $1.29 now. $1.29 at Big Lots. That's ridiculous. 
Hey, they finally put something in this uh, refrigerator here. They got pop in here and some Powerade. If you guys remember the last like six months, they haven't had anything in here. They don't have eggs or any dairy in this, but I'm glad to see that they're using this and it's not just sitting here anymore. So I wonder what they're comparing this water to. It says compare value 479. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what they're comparing that to. I don't see, ever see any water for that specific number. Uh, maybe they're talking about maybe down south or something where Crystal Geyser is a little more popular, I guess. I mean, we, we see it everywhere down in Florida. Um, three for 10 though. So $3.33 a piece for this ain't too bad. Become a VIP member. And you can become a billionaire. Billionaire. You get 15% off joining. We've already joined that. It's been years. <laughs> uh, but yes, you do. You can get some random coupons through emails and stuff. Sometimes they'll have their 20% off everything sale. But that's far and few between anymore. At least up here, uh, the way they do that is they'll randomly send out emails, which I don't like that because um, you're, you know, I I I haven't gotten one in months. But apparently, sometimes at other big lot stores across the country, they still do the 20% off uh, sales, which I'll have to ask. It's been a while. Oh, here's some of these Bear Creek soups. $3.99 here, though. That's not really a big lot deal, but at least they got them in here. Got some, wow, Star Wars SpaghettiOs with BB-8 on it. That's pretty old. <laughs> Let's see here. June 30th, 2023. So we got a couple months for the best if used by date. And they've got these cheddar broccoli singles up here and classic chicken noodle. These are $4.99. Now, how many you get six packets of it for $4.99? So less than a dollar a packet. I've got the Campbell's Chunky here for $2.29. That's a good regular price. $2.79 now. They went up at Kroger. $2.79 a piece now. Regular price. Progresso went up to $2.99 a piece at Kroger. So this continues to go up. I noticed the five packs of ramen went up here. These were $1.49 for a five pack, $1.25 at Dollar Tree. So keep that in mind. Another price increase here. Oh, look at this. These went up too. These were $1.25 here. These chow mein things that we're always getting comments on. Now they're up with pretty much everywhere else. $1.49. You can sometimes find these at Dollar General and Dollar Tree for $1.25. So keep that one in mind too. 49 cents for a single pack of ramen. Pretty much find these cheaper anywhere. Into the main aisle here. I can't believe these cream of soups here are $1.79. What a ripoff. That is crazy. They got the Swanson broth here, $1.39. These were $1.19 the last time I was here. $1.39. Boy, looks like a lot of stuff's going up here. $2.29 for the Progresso, though. Obviously not a big selection. But $2.29, good regular price. Uh, they do have the Kitchen Classics here. Um, I don't know how much they are. They have the chicken uh, noodle, 25% bigger for $1.29, $1.25 at Dollar Tree. Okay, well, they got cream of chicken up here. Well, now, wait a minute. Well, okay. So, if that's $1.79, or is that just cream of mushroom? Wait a minute now. Y'all are confusing me. Yeah, okay, well, these are the older ones, I guess. So maybe they're just trying to get rid of these, I don't know. But they're $1.49 on this shelf. Notice they have the Stevia Extract uh, Zero Calorie Sweetener here, $4.79. That is 9.7 ounces. $3.99 for the four pounds of Domino Sugar. That's a good deal. And a little bit of a better deal on the old, that's the old canister of Domino Sugar. That's still four pounds there for $5.99. And then we have a Jessica for sale, twelve ninety nine. What were you saying before? We shouldn't have came here. Nothing. <laughs> Jessica has won my heart. This is crazy looking. So what is this? Star Wars Frosted Flakes? Yeah, light side original Frosted Flakes. Dark side chocolate Frosted Flakes. Oh Mixed my goodness! Mixed together in one box. That sounds pretty amazing. We may need to get more milk. One thing I will say about Big Lots is they do have, like, you know, I know we were all talking in the comments of different oils to try. You know, if you're going to be cooking at home, try cooking in some style. You know, fresh finds here. Fresh finds. Who makes fresh finds? 
That sounds familiar. Is, is that? That's not Trader Joe's, is it? Do you know who makes fresh finds? I don't know. Let us know down below if you know who makes the fresh finds brand. I could probably Google it here if I just look at this Bertoli extra virgin olive oil, seven forty nine. I thought that was six fifty. I was gonna say that's a good price, but yeah, I mean it's good that they have a lot of different things to choose from. They got some avocado oil here. We got always getting comments on this five ninety nine for this high heat cooking oil. Interesting. Don't tell nobody, but they got Crisco here for $5.99. $5.99, the canola. Well, it's probably why they're selling it here, because this is uh, fairly cheap compared to a, some other place. $6.49 at Kroger, $7.49 for the canola at Kroger. So, pretty crazy. Well, now I'm starting to think that this is just the company that goes with big lots here because yeah, this is their, this is probably where I remembered this from was their spices. Good spices, guys. They got the garlic salt here, $1. This is, this is, whoops. This is a lot more than what you're gonna get at Walmart. This is 8.3 ounces. And uh, fix that there. There we go. Yeah, they got uh, some lemon pepper seasoning. A lot of these for a dollar. Some of them are a dollar nineteen. But yeah, got some cayenne pepper here. Dollar nineteen. That's a big thing over here. Four sixty nine for ten ounces of A one sauce. As we saw, they had the two twenty ounce bottles at Costco yesterday for ten ninety nine. Someone did the math on the ones at Dollar Tree though. The five ounce ones for a dollar twenty five. If you add that up, that all comes out to ten dollars. So if you buy the amount that it would cost you at Costco, you're actually saving a dollar by buying it at Dollar Tree. Thank you for that comment. Who did the math on that before? It's pretty interesting. So I've tried something like this before, but we got good comments on this last time. Yeah, Fresh Finds must have just been my memory kicking into gear from the, uh, a month or so ago when we were at Big Lots last. <laughs> $10 for this one. Um, it's kind of interesting, like you have to rehydrate the peanut butter with a little bit of water. But, you know, I've never tried this brand, but I've tried some like it. You know, it's something that'll definitely last a long time. Uh, March 1st, 2025. So probably last you beyond that. But yeah, something that's very shelf stable. Put away and forget about it in the pantry for a while. I'm sure you can cook with this too, make a lot of different things. Let, let us know down below if you like the uh, dehydrated peanut butter here, um, peanut butter powder, and uh, if you like it. Somebody mentioned Stubbs barbecue sauce the other day, and I, I love Stubbs barbecue sauce. This is the biggest one I've ever seen. Look at this. This is enormous. This is two pounds, four ounces, 36 ounces of Stubbs barbecue sauce. I do not see a price on it anywhere. I don't see one on here either. Usually if they don't have a sticker here, they'll have a sticker on the bottle, but they don't. They do have some things here that's, you know, hard to find at a lot of other stores, like the French's honey mustard here. Um, this is one that's kind of rare to find anymore you used to be able to find it everywhere but now you pretty much got to go to a random store like this to find it um, but they have some of this different soy sauces vinegar here the maple guild uh 4.99 for that you know there are some interesting options here the prices can get a little much um but yeah, these so-called value stores really ain't much value anymore. You can find some good deals here, but mostly on other things, not really the food. But we like to cover the things on this channel that people love uh, and try to save money in the process. Look at this. Sugar-free, G. Hughes, different sauces here. Huh. Looks interesting. So I just found some of this chicken broth here. Right, it says a dollar thirty-nine on the can. The sticker says ninety-five cents. I can't tell you the last time this was ninety-five cents. Uh, the last time I was here, I know the last time it was a dollar nineteen. I was gonna buy one, and I ended up going to Kroger uh, to get some more bouillon cubes. But uh, yeah, so they have on the stickers here dollar thirty-nine, and it's the same thing as what we saw down here for dollar thirty-nine. So that's the price. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they'd give it to you for that. I'd still take a picture like, hey, you got a sticker here. Which one is it? Pop has reached epic prices here at Big Lots, $8.19. This was like $7.38, a 12-pack the last time we were here. But we saw them go up to $8.99 regular price at Kroger. So 
It's probably going to be going up everywhere. Eight nineteen, still cheaper than regular price at Kroger, but you can usually find a sale. Like if you buy two or three or four. They do have spam here. Well, they don't have it, but they still have it for three dollars and sixty nine cents. We can see in this go up to three ninety nine everywhere. They have this armor treat. I guess kind of spam look alike there for two dollars and nineteen cents. I've never tried that though. They have the Royale. Uh, hams here for $4.99. We've had mixed reviews on that. Uh, the Libby's corned beef here. Um, five, no? What is that? Ox and palm corned beef, which they don't have. And I don't see a price here for the Libby's corned beef, but it's, it was $4.99 the last time we were here. But we've been seeing it for go up to $5.99 in some stores. So, Little Armor Vienna Sausages, $0.99. Cents a can guys these were 50 cents a can 55 cents a can last year i mean that's gone up 45 cents uh geez well they, they do have a little bit of spaghettios here um we've been hearing more and more that spaghettios kind of been going out the door um we'll just have to keep our eye on it both of them a dollar 39 here so about about the same price as it is everywhere else i will say del monte canned uh fruits is a 239 here these were 229 the last time we were here so these have gone up 10 cents the funny thing is is that kroger's they were 249 and their regular price has dropped to 229 so kroger's wins this round we're always getting comments on these rotel diced tomatoes and green chili so i did want to point out that they're too expensive here dollar 49 a can dollar 39 a can for hunts diced tomatoes uh okay so libby's corned beef went up to 5.99 just saw this on the bottom shelf here they didn't have stickers on the other ones this is the 25 percent less sodium though it's a little different that might be a little more because of that maybe but i doubt it i'm sure the other ones went up to 5.99 also let's see 2.49 for the ben's original ready rice uh these are now uh 2.59 at kroger 2.79 at target Random prices everywhere. They do have some of the um, Tasty Bite Organic Sticky Rice here. Uh, somebody asked about this a while back. Two forty-nine for these and for the, well, they got the Basmati also and the Brown Rice. Uh, don't know which one's better. Big Lot sells the Kreider Chicken. This is the 12 and a half ounce can for $3.29. And they have the smaller can. Well, that's funny. Shredded white chicken. What's the difference here? Premium white chicken, shredded white chicken. This one's three forty nine. This one's three twenty nine. So this one's actually cheaper. So I'm thinking that just a lot of these prices haven't been changed yet. Probably some of them. You know, it's it's in every store we go to, guys. Dollar uh, thirty nine now for the rice aroni here. Uh, you know, we've been saying this was going to be going up. Dollar forty nine a box now at Kroger. Dollar fifty a box for this. It was $1 all day last year. We got a comment in one of our other videos, what sauce Jessica used for the lasagna we made. This one right here, uh, we got it on sale. We, I bought up a few of them when they had their digital coupon deal. But um, yeah, $2.79 here. It's about the same prices as everywhere, but yep, just Prego traditional. We Two jars, you need about a jar and a half. They do sell Fancy Feast and Friskies here for a penny cheaper than Kroger. Uh, 89 cents for Fancy Piece, 90 cents at Kroger. 79 cents for Friskies here at Big Lots, so penny cheaper. Um, they never really carry too much, but they do have the four packs of nine lives here. 299, 299. It used to be 279, so they definitely, you can tell with the newer sticker here, they change the price. Plus, I think one's underneath there, but I'm not going to move it. But 299 for these, still the cheapest around. They don't have much as far as dry cat food goes. They do have the nine lives though, and it is $3.99 here. It's hard to even find the nine lives dry cat food anymore, but $3.99 is an okay price. $4.99 still here for the small bags of the uh, 3.15 pound bags of the Meow Mix, $4.99. And the items, pretty much expensive everywhere. This is three and a half pounds for $10.49. They have a bigger bag right here though, $17.99 uh, for seven pounds. Uh, so the last time they had cat litter for the same price everywhere else, we see the tidy cats at pretty much everywhere for $11.49. Now we saw that Kroger put low price stickers on their tidy cats cat litter for $11.49. So I assume they're going to be going up there here soon. They did go up here at Big Lots, but they do have the cat's pride here. Uh, the big things of it here 
uh, for $6.99. That's a great deal. We've gotten a couple comments over the last few weeks on some training pads. I've kind of been pointing them out where I see them. This is the most I've seen, like, anywhere. Um, I know somebody asked if I would check Sam's Club. We'll try and check next time we go, but they do have a lot of different ones here. 100 count, 50 count here. They got 100 pads of this one here, $17.99 for these. I do have a smaller one of 50 pads for $12.99. Um, but, yeah, they got a ton of these here. They do have some dry dog food here. Pedigree is an okay price. $13.49. Oh, wait a minute. No. Is that the $15.99? Yeah, $15.99 for this. For the 14 pounds. What's this one that's supposed to be here? 14 pounds. Well, I don't really know. This is one that mentions says where we got two different prices for the same thing. So... I don't know. Um, they got six cans of Purina one here for eleven ninety nine. That brings them to two dollars a piece. About same as it is everywhere right now. Some places might be a little more for a single can, but uh, yeah, it's all the dog, the canned dog food I see. Oh no, there's some pedigree right here. I was gonna say, how can they not have pedigree? Six cans, six regular size cans for eight ninety nine. When you come to Big Lots, always check like the ends and the middle of the store here for different items. Look at this. Belveda Blueberry Biscuits. $2. Sold. I noticed some of the Victor Allen coffees went up. These were $14.99 not that long ago. $16.99 regular price now, but they are offering a sale too for $30, making them $15. So what the regular price was not that long ago. Um, one interesting thing, they actually have the Cafe Bastillo Curate Cups uh, here, $7.99 for the 12 and $16.99 for the 32 count. Got the big pack of 8 o'clock coffee here, $19.99 for 32 of them. Some of these prices, you know, I mean, for Duncan, that's a good regular price, $7.99. That's usually what we see if we're on sale at Kroger or anywhere else. $8.49 regular price for Donut shop is a bit much. Um, they do got some of the Maxwell House Curate Cups down here. Uh, $16.99 for $32. Same with Folgers. And we've got some of the Folgers. Okay, so the Classic Roast here. Is this $10.49 or is that the Colombian? That is the Classic. So the 25.9 ounce cans uh, for a dollar cheaper than Kroger. And then they have... There's no way. That's $4.29. The Colombian is $9.99. And I believe this is 20, uh, ooh, 22.6 ounces for $9.99. So $11.49 at Kroger, but I believe Kroger's is, we'll have to check that. I believe Kroger's is still the 25.9 ounce on the Colombian. But yeah, we'll have to check that out. 30 ounces of the Dunkin' Ground Coffee, $17.99 here. It's right around $20 um, when not on sale pretty much everywhere else. I know Kroger's is $19.99. And... $16.99 at Kroger for the Party Size Cafe Bastello, $14.99 here. So here's a couple good deals. Plus, they have some instant. Boy, Cafe Bastello must love big lots here. Uh, some instant coffee here, $6.99 for that. They have the bricked here. Let's see, this is the 10 ounces. That's funny, that's not really bricked though, it's kind of loose. Uh, is that $4.49? Yeah, $4.49 for that. Boy, Bigelow Tea is just going up everywhere. $3.39 here for this. This was $2.99 the last time I was here. Of course, to be fair, it was $2.99 pretty much everywhere. Um, now they just keep going up. We saw it jump twice at Kroger's in a couple weeks. Uh, I believe Kroger's might still be $3.29. They were $3.19. They may have, we'll have to check again because they, they kept going up. Um, and then we have the Celestial Teas, which are $3.19 here. Same price at Kroger now, $3.19. That is just way too expensive for this tea. I came over here to the chip aisle just to see how much Pringles had gone up here. They haven't, or at least they haven't changed the price tags yet. Uh, $2.60 for these at Kroger, $2.29 here. That is still too much. The only time I would have, my highest price that I would have ever paid for these was the three for five. Doesn't look like that's going to ever be again, so looks like I'm done with Pringles. Um, and they do have... Some popcorn here, some microwave popcorn. Well, two forty nine for three packs of Orville Redenbacher doesn't sound like too bad of a deal. So if you shop Big Lots on a regular basis, 
because uh, I rarely ever see this. Like, this is the first time I've seen this in a long time. This stuff is delicious. Dark cocoa. It's $2.49 now. It used to be $1.99. Uh, but you know what? I'd still pay it because this, this is amazing. Saw another one of these middle aisles. I'm always looking for some keto stuff for people. We always get a lot of comments of people that like the keto uh, stuff. Um, yeah, they've got some keto-friendly cookies and brownies. Is, <laughs> that's pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, it all looks good. Uh, here's that Red Mill flaxseed. I know I pointed this out the last time I was here, but uh, $5.99. That's a hard one to find, guys. That's a hard one to find. It's kind of random that it's just here in, in this middle aisle. $5.99 here at Big Lots. They've got some of the steel coat uh, steel cut oats here too, which we find these everywhere, but we get a lot of comments on them. Three forty nine for those. Well, let's see. They got the the natural here, low sodium Jif peanut butter here, six dollars and forty nine cents. This is the forty ounce, uh, a little cheaper than Kroger, if Kroger even has the natural there. I noticed they have a red tag. That's why I talk about looking at some of the like middle aisles here because. Like they got Ritz crackers here, three nineteen regular price, which is still too high if you ask me. But four twenty nine regular price at Kroger. We got some Tate's Bakehouse Bake Shop cookies here, four ninety nine for those. Now those used to be three ninety nine, and some more keto options here: keto friendly nut and seed bars, granola bars. You got some Goldfish Parm Crisp. I love those, but oof, I can't eat those all the time. Uh, some of these Aussie and Blueberry. Uh, is this the natural cravings? Yeah. I know there's another one that's a little more expensive than that. They're, they're you know, this one's kind of climbing up to the to the other price of the other one. But, yeah, a lot of different options here. Prices vary up and down. Some stuff is good prices. Some stuff is not so good. Well, that was our trip to Big Lots. What would you think? Cool. Yeah, I mean, it's it's... Good. It's big lots. Yeah, it's good for many other things. You know, we cover a lot of grocery prices on the channel here and where we can find deals. Don't know if you can really find a lot of deals here, but they do have like some random things that are uh, you may not be able to find, you know, somewhere else. Uh, some stuff you could find here. But, you know, as far as the prices go, it seems like Big Lots is kind of caught up to a lot of the major grocery stores with some of their prices. But the difference is is that we can find better sales at the bigger store. So if we shop the sales and stock up on the things that we need that we get sales on for good prices, that's the way to go. But we still like Big Lots, all kinds of cool stuff here other than food that's cheap, um, you know, just random things. But guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. With all that being said, we are out. And always remember, the adventure it's is out there. there.